Hey, hi everyone. Okay. So today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, how to release the project. How to release the project uh, from the development system to the QA, QA to production. Right. So that we will discuss the today's session in uh, 3.1 as well as the 4.0. So in 3.1 how to release the project. So in 4.0 also how we can release the project from the development system to the QA system. Okay, so like uh, any uh, any software, uh, any any project, you can see the development system in the QA system, in production system, and uh, similarly, the for BO also we need to install the the separate environments. One is for the uh, development, and another is the QA, and another is the production. So let's take uh, this is a development system. Okay. So this is a dev system, and I have we have uh, another QA system. QA. So basically, why we need to QA? So there, so we are going to test the uh, the dev, uh, the testing team or the the B uh, the testing team or the users is going to test the reports in the QA system. And the production, so actual data, the actual uh, reports will be stored in the production, which is uh, data coming from the production database. Okay, so real time data you can see in the production uh, production uh, server. Okay, so these are the development QA and production. These are the separate BIO servers. Okay, Dev is a separate license. We need a separate license key, and for QA, yes, we need the separate license key. And production, we need a separate license key. These are the different uh, BO server, BO systems. Okay. So what you are doing? So basically, where we implement the reports? So we implement the reports. So in the development system. So assume like uh, so you have uh, implemented under reports, and also you have implemented the five universes. Okay. So under reports and the five universes you implemented in the development system by connecting to the by connecting to the Oracle database. By connecting to the the Oracle database. Okay. So Oracle also we have a development uh, database. So by connecting to the Oracle development uh, database, so you generated the under reports and the five universes. Okay. So you developed it and you need to uh, release this project. You need to move this under reports for universes to the QA system. So you need to, we need to move under reports and for universes. So how we are going to move this under reports and for universes? So if it is uh, in, if it is four uh, dot o, sorry, if it is xi three dot one, bo xi three dot one. So BOXI3.1, in XI3.1 what we will do? So using the import wizard, using the import wizard, using import wizard, so we will release the project from the development system to the QA system. And there are two ways, so we can release the project. One is, one is, one, one thing is we can do directly system to the system. That means, so you can directly move this under reports by inverses from the development system to the QA system directly. Or else like what you can do, so you can do it with a, so create a BAR file, create a BAR file in the, dev, in the development system that you can publish into the QA system. Okay. BAR to the QA system. Okay. So what is BAR? It is a business intelligence active resource. So what exactly the business intelligence? It's like a zip file. It is a file. The BR is a file, so which you can create in the development system as a QA or production system. Okay. So what you are doing to going to do? See similarly, like uh, so, if you have uh, like multiple files, then you can keep it into the single folder as a zip file, right? It is a similar kind of that uh, BR file is a similar kind of the zip that you cannot open it in a zip or any other file. You can just extract that and uh, you can uh, publish into the QA system. So for that we use the BAR file. Okay. So if you have the BAR file you can make it the backup anytime you can you use it uh, the BAR file in if you want it like suppose so I have created the BAR file with the 50 reports and uh, three universes. Suppose anything happened 
So you can republish this BA file and you will retrieve the old backup files, old, old reports into the development system. Okay. So always uh, like generally, so we don't use the system to the system. Always we do the process of BA, create the BA file and move that into the system, any any system, QR production system. That is what we will do. So this process we will, will not do and always we will do this process BR to the system. Okay, so that is a way we can do, we can utilize the, the import wizard in 3.1. And, uh, and also, so import wizard useful to migrate the older version to the latest version. Suppose, suppose you have uh, reports in XAR2, so the list of the reports are available in XAR2. VOXAR2 is the, the older release, older version. So if you migrate these reports from the BOXAR2 to 3.1, so in that case also we can utilize, we can use the import wizard. So to migrate the reports from the BOXAR2 to 3.1, so we need to use the BA, uh, import wizard. So what we can do using the import wizard, you need to create a BR file in XAR2, then so we'll publish that be a file into 3.1. That is the way we can do it. That is the way we have to do to uh, migrate the reports. So that can be done by the import wizard tool. Okay. So that is about uh, 3.1. If it comes to the 4.0, if it comes to the 4.0 business object uh, 4.0. In 4.0 what we will do? So using the LCM tool, using the LCM tool, so we will release the project, I will release the project from the development system to the key system. But, so here, so here also you can do it the system to the system or you can do it LCM BAR file to LCM BAR file. So you can do the LCM BAR file to the system or else you can do the system to the system directly. Okay, using LCM tool. So there is no more import wizard in 4.0. Okay. And uh, similarly, to migrate the reports from 3.1 to the 4.0, so you have to use the upgrade management tool. So upgrade management tool is uh, useful to migrate the migrate the reports from the XI 3.1. So Bob G XI 3.1 to 4.0 to migrate the uh, reports from 3.1 to the 4.0, we need to use the upgrade management tool. Okay. Is that clear? And uh, similarly, whatever the reports, so whatever the reports you have, okay. So whatever the reports you have in the development system tool, that you can migrate into the production environment. So this is a way, so we can do it by using these tools. Okay. So what is the activity, what is the activity you, we need to do once you move the universes and reports. Suppose you under reports and universes you move development to the QA system and also we have a separate database in the QA database. So we have the separate QA database. So then so what you need to do, you need to change the connection of the universe. So these universes are like by default the universe is uh, uh, developed by using the Oracle Dev, right? So that connection you need to change in the QA database, QA uh, environment. So you need to modify that universe. So connect the, the database called the Oracle Dev QA system. And uh, similarly, so in the production, if you move the reports and the universes to the production Iran production database, so then, so, sorry, then if you move these uh, universes and reports to the production server, so then you need to change the connection to the production database, right? So and you need to import the universe and uh, change the connection to the production database and uh, export the universe to the repository. But uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, clients or some of the projects show you don't find this. Some of the project some of the projects 
so you don't find this don't find the QA QA server in that case what you can do so what you need to do you need to like once the development is completed so you need to share this development uh, folders to test the reports but so when you are giving this access to the users or end users are testing team so you need to change the connection see even though you, the devel reports are in development system but you need to change the connection to the QA database then so when you replace the report then the data will come from the QA database not from the development system right so that way the end user can test the reports even in the development system but the data must come from the QA database okay so guys clear any questions here one question yes Madhu, for the upgrade management tool, are you going to show us the uh, how to migrate the reports from older version to the new? Yes. Okay. Then uh, I I will just go to that only. I don't have any question. Okay. Fine. Okay. So let's connect to the first. We'll see the entry dot one. Then uh, we'll move to the four dot two. Yes, we shall go ahead. Hello. Uh, hi, Badu. Uh, I just want to check. Uh, you mentioned uh, that the connection we have to we have to establish a connection with the new. Uh, Vishal, can you speak can loudly, please? Could you please loud uh, speak loudly? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Uh, Madhu, if we if say in the development stage we are using the Oracle database. It will have its own tables, and you know uh, we're, we're going to be using those tables to create the reports. Now, if I move to the QA or the production database, would it be having a different set of tables? And if so, how the same reports are going to work with the with the new database now? Yeah, it should have the same tables. Okay. So, how come the uh, the QA and production should be the same database? See. So we are developing the report. There is a other team, the ETL team. There is other team, ETL team is going to do this process. See, process means, uh, so there is the ETL team also, they have the separate uh, ETL jobs, so to extract the data from the different source system. Similarly, so the, see, however we have the development system, the back end, the ETL is also, there is set up, uh, uh, set up for different system they have Oracle, QA database, production database. Similarly, they develop the jobs in the development system and they will move the, all the jobs to the QA system and they load the data from the connecting to the uh, uh, different source system. So that way they load the data in the QA database. Okay. So it should be the table structure and that all the setup tables should be same. Okay. Because once their work is done, then only we are going to implement this reports and uh, reports and universes. Okay, so once the setup is ready, the backend structure, then only like we are going to start doing this. Does it often it, it happens in the company? Say for the development, they have Oracle. For the QA, they might be using SQL or any other database. Or did, any did pretty much any database. Any, Yes, any database they might use. It's not only Oracle, maybe BI system, maybe. Uh, no, but I mean, in terms of the transition from one phase to the other, uh, because you know, especially in, the, in in one organization, if you're using the Oracle, then putting the QA on SQL or any other database, I don't know whether if that. No, no, no. It will not be like that. It will not be like that. So in see in a both the see Oracle. Suppose they are using the Oracle in development system. The, in the QA and production also, it should be the RQ. Okay, ninety-nine percent nine people like they use the same so uh, same database. So it's essentially probably for the development, uh, you know, they have uh, you know, or even for the QA, they have the structure, the same tables. Maybe they might have not uploaded the fully functional data, just keeping with the bare minimal data for the testing functionality, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, may, maybe they may not load the data properly, then they, uh, we need to wait or the QA team has to wait to get the data into the QA database. But 
So if they are not loaded the table structure, if they are not uh, created the ta same table structure in the key database, so that will not work. So our report will give error. Our report uh, throwing an error. So which is like called maybe table column is missing, object is uh, missing, object is not displaying. So some SQL related errors you will get. So if the table structure is not with uh, sync up with the development system. Even in similarly in production, if any column is missing, then immediately it will throw error in production database, production reports. Okay. So that should be seen. That will that how to take care of all these things. Okay. Fine. Fine. So let's uh, start. Yes. Uh, yes, Shilpa, go ahead. Um, what kind of errors can we ex uh, expect when we are transferring from development to QA and QA to production? Uh, I hope there will be some kind of issues, right? Uh, what kind of issues can we expect when we are uh, loading from uh, development to QA? Yeah, the kind of uh, reports ever, uh, like to see in a QA, you will get sometimes the timeout error. Maybe the report is taking a lot of time. Maybe in the development system, you put the, some restriction of the time. So a report should run uh, not more than five minutes. But in the QA, there is a lot of data. So there is a lot of data and reports time. When you replace the report time to take more than five minutes or 10 minutes, then immediately it will give error. So time out error. So that time, you need to set into the QA universes. OK, that type of errors. And uh, so if any column or table is missing, so immediately it will give error, like uh, the SQA table column is missing, something like that, you will get error. This type of this type of errors will get generally. OK, and if there is a huge amount of data, then if it takes a lot of time, so the time out error, errors will get in the PA system. Okay? So that you need to rectify in the uh, in the PA. Not in the QA, you don't have the access to change the settings in the QA. So that you have to do it in the development system again. Okay. So as a developer, as a developer, you will not have any access, modify access in, in a QA production. That you need to change in the development system and export the same, export the BA file into the QA system again. See, suppose uh, if uh, the QA has a uh, raise the bugs so in a QA system so then immediately what they will do that uh, that uh, bugs that issues information comes to the development system okay so I mean development team so the development team rectify that problem in the development system again so they have to create the BA file with a set of under reports and five universes with us so with a sales, suppose I have created the BA file earlier, sales sales v underscore zero. Sales sales v underscore zero. Then next time when you release the BA file, that time you need to give v one dot g one dot one. Sorry, it's a v one the v one. So next time when you're releasing the BA file, that you need to release release as a v underscore one dot one. Okay, that is a way. So you need to uh, raise this BA file so far based on their uh, issues, based on the bugs. Okay. And uh, uh, what happens if in the development we don't get that error, and in the QA system we happen to get that error? Yes. So that means uh, that means you need to. What you need to do? In the development system itself, anyway, we don't have the uh, edit access in the QA, but in the development in the Oracle database. So in our development system, we are not getting any data. We are not getting any issue. Then in that case, what you need to do? So the inverse should connect to the QA system. So whatever uh, they are getting in there, suppose there is a a report. Let's take example. The say there is a sales report. So giving an error, but same report is not giving any error. In that case. So what you need to do, you need to change the connection to the QA database, in the, even in the development server. Okay. So so whatever, if you once you once you connect it to the QA system, so you will get the same error which you are get which the end user is getting in the QA database. So that way you can able to test it. That way you can uh, get the same error in the development system. Okay. 
Fine. So let's So guys, I am connected to the 3.1 server and you can see BYXA 3.1. So then you can see the import wizard tool. So import wizard is tool. So click on OK. Click on next. Now you can see the source. The source is the business object XA 3.1 and enter the, the credentials of the source system. That means the development system. Okay. So then I am giving click on next and the destination now you can see the destination so if you are going to send uh, the list of the reports from the 3.1 to the development system the QA system then so you need to mention the QA CMS details so QA CMS details you need to mention suppose let's take uh, CMS so BO, the QA server is available in this location. In that case, you need to give the CMS IP address. Business object CMS IP address, you need to provide it here. So that means, see, the, the development is, uh, the development server is installed, so on something in this machine. Okay, so that you need to give the destination as a destination as a another IP address. So because the BO server, the QA server is available in the QA database. So that is installed in this IP address. So that IP address you need to provide. Or else like you can enter the, the CMS name, the server name of uh, uh, the QA system. That way you need to provide it. Okay. But anyway, so we cannot connect to the, any other server from this uh, the remote system. Okay. So what you can do, so this is the way we need to do it, uh, the system to the system, okay. So now, so source is business object uh, 3.1 and the destination what I am giving, I am going to create the BF file, okay. Before going to create the BF files, BF file, what, what the, what with a, with a which list of the reports we need to create the BL file that we'll see. And also I will share with you guys that BL file. So you can also if you have your own uh, own BO setup, so you can also import that uh, uh, BL file into your local system. Okay, so let's expand the folder. So there is a weekend folder you can see. In the weekend folder there is a one YTD report. There are different reports are there. And uh, similarly in the sales report. So what I am doing in the weekend folder, so so I am going to create a BF file. I want to uh, see, I want to send this list of the reports development uh, system to the QA system. How we can do that? That we can see. So first of all, I will create the I will create the BF file. So with a set of weekend folder reports. 
So now, so now just what I'm doing, so I'm going to save that be a file into weekend folder. Going to save into the weekend one be a file. Click on next. So here you need to select which are the reports and which are the things you we want to move from the development the development system to the care system. So these are the things not required. In boxes is not required. Favorite folders are not required. Corporate categories are also not required. So guys, generally by default we need to select this. So import folders object is required. Events not required. Repository objects is required. Repository object contain the, the address of the reports. Calendars is not required. Universe is required. Profiles not required. This is not required. By default, you have to select these things. Repository objects, custom access levels, import universes, and uh, import folders and objects, Okay, import users and groups. Click on next. Now select the administrator. Don't select all the users. Just select the administrator. Okay. So select next. And you need to select the custom access level, full control, schedule, view, view and demand. Click on next. And which folder I want to migrate it? So I want to migrate the, the weekend folder. Some of them desktop reports, some of them YT web reports you can see. Okay. So click on next. So anyway, we don't need this application folders. And then you need to select the import universes and connections that are selected by intelligence. See, I have selected the list of the universe web reports. So that universe is also I want to select by default. Okay. So click on next. And guys, see fashion. Even I am not selected, but so still it is highlighted because it is selected because the web intelligence report which is using this universe. And also if you want to select other universes, so you can select the other universes here. Okay. Like this way you can select it. Click on next. 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 Import progress. Mm, I think uh, something happened. It should not close actually. Uh, then the next page will come. Next line should be come. It is done. So complete the uh, BA file. So that there is a that is a window. It should come. Okay, maybe. Uh, maybe some error. Anyway, we have not received any error, but it's done. Anyway, so the BR file is created. The BR file is created now. Okay. So then, how we can import uh, this BR file? How we can import this BR file? So into same server. So what I'm doing here? So, so the existing uh, B, uh, the B, this one. So I'm going to rename it. Just going to rename this. How to rename the folder? Go to properties. So let's give underscore one one. Okay. So now we don't have any weekend uh, folder. So we have only weekend uh, underscore one one. Just refresh it. This should be reflected. Okay. Now we don't have any weekend folder, right? Okay. Now, so what I am doing? So the weekend folder is not there. So what I am doing? I need to get. I need to uh, bring that weekend folder back. How we can do that? So we have a backup BA file. So we can by publishing this BA file in uh, same uh, same server, we'll get it. 
will get this uh, weekend folder back. Okay. So arrays like what you can do, you can remove it also. Nothing will happen. Just right click and remove it. Okay. There is no more weekend folder, right? So now I want to uh, get that reports folders back into the repository. How you can do that? So go to the all programs. Import wizard. Click on next. Okay. This time the source will be the the beer file. Select this beer file and select the destination. Select the source beer file and the next. Click on next. So from BA file, what you want to publish? So anyway, inbox is not there. These are the not required. We don't have it anyway. The category is also not there in the BA file. And the events, sort of groups is not required. Calendars, not required. Custom access level, you need to select it. Click on next. Click on next. So then just you need to override group and user membership. This you need to uh, uncheck it because like there is the administrator. So it should not the override the existing group. That's what I'm just I'm moving this. I'm unchecking this. It should not be override. So select all. Click next. Because see guys. So if you see you have a selected the only the administrator. You can see the only the administrator user right. Click on next. Select all. And now guys, yeah, there is a problem. So the list of the reports I have selected, but the reports are not displayed. Because like at the end, so it is immediately closed, right? Correct? So that's what you cannot see the list of the reports. That is a problem. Hmm? So you have only the the folder you can see, but reports you have like we lost it. So at the end uh, we got uh, some immediately it is closed. That's what. So it is not displaying the list of the reports. Okay, click on next. Next. You can see the only the folder and the universes. Okay. Okay, back. Even if you remove this for the universes, will get back again. Yes, uh, but this time you are not getting the reports which I deleted. We are we are not able to trade it because so whenever I am created the BR file, like uh, like it's not completed successfully. That's what it is not showing. Okay, let me check. Even this is also same problem. Okay. There is some uh, problem. Basically, so you guys understand, right? So how we can do it? Yeah, some might be uh, virus got affected. That's what I am not able to uh, finish that. Let me try my local. Okay, so you guys understand, right? What uh, what we need to do? So how we can utilize the BA file? Okay, so creating the BA file and how to publish that BA file? That till now that we have discussed. Is that clear? Any questions? Anybody have any questions?
Hello? Yes, you can. Um, is there another way you can back up if the BIR file is lost? Or if it is not uh, backed up, if we get the same kind of issue in the real time? Uh, is there a way we can uh, do it in, in, in any other way? Yeah, okay. Yes, so in the market uh, we have a different uh, version controlling tools. So with the version controlling tools, so we can manage uh, all the backups in the separate tool. Okay. So there is a backup uh, tool like the version control tool is uh, mainly for BO we use uh, EQM4. EQM4 is uh, one of the tool. So using this tool, like uh, instead of doing this, uh, instead of doing this BA file with the EQM4, so with EQM4 tool we can manage all the version controls with this tool. Okay. So with this tool we can manage the uh, backup thing and also we can release the project using the EQM4. Okay. So all the dev queue and production it will be integrated in the EQM4 and uh, you can always move the reports and images from the development to the QA QA to production with using the tool instead of the import wizard. Okay. But with the BO there is no other way. So with the BO tool there is no other way we can move the uh, set of the reports so development to the QA system that is not possible only so that can be do that can be done through the way the import is that tool. Okay. But uh, most of the time yeah, most of the time, so we use uh, only the import wizard tool to uh, raise the project. So create the BA file and take the backup. And uh, so the same BA file you can publish into the another server. If we move okay. the files from development to, development to production, uh, will like that the development doesn't. Uh, Hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Sipa. Uh, sorry, uh, if we move the files from development to production? Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. What all the files will be gone in the development? Is that what you are telling? So, the universe is everything will be moved or you don't have anything in the backup for the development? Yeah, see. What we need to do, we need to, uh, you need to create the BA file in the development system, okay. So once that BA file develop, uh, created in the development system, that you need to publish into the uh, QA system. Whatever the BA file, so you created in the development system, that you need to publish into the QA system, okay. So that under reports, that BA file is having the under reports and by universes, that will be published into the QA system. And uh, similarly, so same BR file you need to publish into the production system. If there is no uh, errors, there is no bugs in the in the QA, they didn't find any any bugs in the in our set of reports then. So directly we can move that BR file into the production system. Okay. So how it can move that uh, BR file into the production? Similarly, you need to give the source as a BR file. So just what I have done here, right? Similar way you need to do it. See here. So import wizard and uh, click on next and the source, the source you need to select the BA file and the destination you need to uh, give the credentials of the, for, uh, the QA system or production system. That way you can move that list of the reports and inverses dev to, dev to QA system. Okay. So Shilpa is that clear? Okay. So, anybody, anybody have any uh, any questions? Uh, hi, Madhu. I have a quick question. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Vishal. Hello. Yeah, Vishal, your voice is me? very low. Your voice is very low. If you speak loudly, so I can understand easily. Hello. Is it better now? No. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll try to, I'll try to understand. 
mother while saving or while creating the bar files you 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 made a couple of selections like you unselected the categories and all those things and then mm -hmm. when we imported imported the same mm -hmm. file you pretty much made the same selections if yes. those selections doesn't match would it give some kind of an error or because you know while saving or while creating the bar somebody created it you know somebody else might have imported the files if they don't really know what selections or options were made if there is a mismatch, what okay. errors or issues it might give? Yeah, no issues you will get. You can select uh, all the checkboxes. So when you are publishing that data file into the, the QA system or production, production system, so you can select the, all the checkboxes, but you don't find any uh, resources, right? Okay, suppose, so there is a category you have selected. So, but in uh, whenever I am creating the data file, I am not selected the category. So even though you, if you are selected the category when you publish that BR file into the PA system, but if you selected the category, you don't find any anything. You don't find any category information. Okay, so nothing will be there. Even if you selected everything, but nothing will be there. If it is not, it's not required to match all the check boxes. Okay. Okay, so it's advisable to maybe select all because you don't really lose anything. Yes, you can, but it's not like that. So when you are uh, when you are going to release the project development uh, development to the peer system, you should aware of that. So what are the things you are going to migrate? It? So it is a one uh, person activity. Generally, the administrator is going to do this process most of the projects. But so if there is no admin team. So the admin is work over just to implement uh, the server setup in the four, three environments. So there is no admin after that in that case. So you need to release this project development to the QA to, QA to production. Okay. Sometimes this implementation, this moving this reports one development to the system maintained by the different company. Okay. So some development is doing by some company and the QA is done by the, suppose development is done by the IBM company, then QA is going to do it CTS. And the production maintenance will be the some other company which is HCA. So like that way it will happen. So for this, doing all this activity in moving these reports, development to the QA, QA to the production, one team is going to do this process. Either the admin team, either the separate team, maybe production uh, support guy is going to do this. Okay. Okay, it depends on the responsibilities of the company. So first they set up. So what are, what exactly the production uh, production support team is going to be responsible. So all these things it is uh, pre predefined earlier. Like when you are going to uh, join into the project, you will get to know all these things. Okay. So but you should be aware of this. How we can uh, uh, move the invoices and report from the development. Maybe you are the only one guy and it's a small company and it's a small client so as a developer you have to do all these classes okay fine so even though if you select all the check boxes also nothing will happen when you import publish into the BR file into the play system so whatever the whatever the BR file content only that content information only will see even you even if you select all the things. Yes, they do the documentation. They do the documentation, what they are releasing the first phase or the second phase, or what they are doing the, in the sales v underscore one, what are the list of the reports they released, and the sales v underscore one dot one. So why they created this version, and uh, what version, what this version contains. So all the information you can see in the document. So everybody has to do the documentation. So we, if you are doing something, so you are creating a two reports. So you need to document it. So there is a technical specification testing documentation will be there. So how you done the testing, how you develop the reports. So for everything the documentation will be there. Okay. So when any other person joins, so any new person joining to the company, you understand that. So what exactly the project and what are the versions we are releasing, current version releases. 
So everything you can understand when any new new people, new team, new person join into the project. Okay. Fine. So guys, uh, is that clear? Any questions? Anybody have any questions? And uh, similarly, so similarly, we can migrate the migrate the XAR2 to XAR2 report to the Redart one. So you what you need to do, you need to select the version of the XAR2. Okay. Then enter the the uh, the system details of this XCR2. Okay. So enter the XCR2 system details. Then so click on next. Then destination you need to select either the Redart one system details. Either you can uh, create the BR file, the destination as a BR file. Okay. Similarly, you need to create the BR file in XCR2. That you need to publish into the Redart one server. That is why. So we can Mother, this is I have one more question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, sir. See, you are saying that we need to take buyer file as a backup, right? Yes. So I suppose that buyer file we are taking as a backup should be from QA environment, right? Because the environment which is changing is QA. So if the reports are older, we are just versioning. I mean, see, it is version 1.1. Then it means that the previous version is already existed in QA environment. So in okay. that way, once we take the backup, then the second step we need to do is the actual migration from dev to QA, right? Yes, correct. So what does this sys to sys system migration uh, this defines? Can you define once again? Yes, that is not possible. If you are doing with a system to the system, so in that case it will not work. That's why uh, that means we just always physically copying the the reports to correct. desktop then. In that way you're talking? Yes, correct. Correct. Oh, okay. So whatever the whatever the reports we have in under reports by universe that you are moving to the QA system, physical. So it is not maintaining, if we are not going to maintain any backup files if you are doing it uh, with a system to the system. That's what I mentioned clearly. So generally we don't do this process, system to the system. Okay. And Otherwise one more thing. Uh, yes. Uh, you're taking the buyer file as a source on the second step when you showed the migration and the destination as the QA system. Why did you do that? So when we are migrating, right? Yes. So see, even the migration also from when you are migration the XAR2 to 3.1 reports. So better always create the BR file in XAR2, then publish that BR file into the 3.1. Okay. So no, why? No. Yeah. I just now said to you that suppose if there are older reports of the version of the same uh, uh, report with the previous version, then you need to take the those files as a backup into the buyer file. When there is a new environment and we don't have anything in R3.1 version and we are upgrading it from R2 to R3, then what is the need of buyer file? We don't need to take any backups, right? Because the any anyway the environment the reports are existed in the current R2 environment. Then what is the need of buyer file there? I mean just we can just directly R2 to source and R3.1 as a destination we can just migrate migrate it on one shot, right? Okay. See, it's okay, you can do that if you have the backup file. So that will be uh, good for you. If anything happened again you can publish into uh, the QA system. Suppose, yeah. So that's a good question. Like, see, why we are going to do it again? The BA file to the system from it is a new system. Why again we are doing uh, BA file to the system? Because, see, in XAR2 also, see, even in XAR2, XAR2 also there is a like uh, there is a system like which is uh, always upgrading the existing reports or modifying the existing reports. It is happened right in XAR2. So that is a real time in your environment. So again, so what we are doing from the, if you do it XAR2 to 3.1 directly to the system to the system, new system. So maybe after some time user telling, so no, no, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to the last backup for BR file. So last backup reports. So let's take the new, uh, new files. So let's take the, the latest uh, reports migrate the 3 XAR2 to the 3.1. So if you have the backup file, then 
So in future, if anything like again, if user if end user tells no no I don't want to uh, the latest one I need the older one only. In that case, you can reuse that PF file. If anything happen, if user is not accepted with the latest reports or the user not accepted with the latest old reports, then so we can publish whatever you want uh, with uh, what, whatever you want whatever you want uh, in the production system or in the 3.1 system. So we can take that whatever we have already taken the backup, we can publish, republish that BF file. Right? Suppose, let's take example. See, there in XAR2, there is a sales report. There is a sales report. Sales underscore one report is there. So I have uh, published that, uh, I have taken uh, this report and Jan first. Let's take uh, Jan first. So in Jan first, so I have uh, like a, a list of the, in the sales report, there are only the 10 columns are there. So that I migrated the sales one report to the 3.1. So after that, so after that some changes happen. After that some changes happen in XAR2 and the sales underscore one. Okay, maybe after some time user tell, user tell like no, no. So whatever the updated report is there in XAR2, that I want to migrate. Maybe Jan 31st, maybe Jan 31st you want to migrate. Again, so Jan 31st, so I don't want to uh, existing report, which is like we have taken the last Jan 1st. So I want to migrate the latest report to, to 3.1. In that case, so again, if you create the BA file, yes, you can uh, migrate that uh, particular report to the 3.1. Maybe sometimes, so they need the older reports they need older reports so because like uh, the the updated reports are that uh, that is not not needed much so they are looking for the older reports only in that case what happened again the older reports which is in xr it is gone so it is upgraded so but still user want to do it the older version reports in 3.1 so if you make it as a backup file so always you can utilize it right even the backup file, how much it is? It's not in GB. Generally, it is in a. In KB, you can see. See, with the list of the reports I have created, you can see it is in KB only. It will not affect 125 KB. It will not store. It will not occupy more data, more space. Okay. Fine. Anyway, the servers like the Bigo servers will be more than 500 GB. Hard disks will be there. So it will not affect if you, the storage is there. Okay. So guys, to clear any questions here? I hope everybody cleared the process. How do this process? Okay. Okay. Fine, guys. And the tomorrow session we can discuss this uh, about uh, LCM and uh, the ma upgrade management tool. Okay. How we can uh, create the BA file and uh, how we can move to the system, system to the system. How we can do it? And also we can similarly we can look for the migrating the 3.1 reports to the 4.0. So I will show you how to do it. Okay, I already copied this BA file in the 4.0, which is uh, from the 3.1. Okay. So this one will discuss in, yeah. So are you going to show us on BI 4.0 about migrating the reports from dev to QA or? Uh, Both. Okay. LCM. See, similarly, just uh, what I can do, I will create a BR file. I will remove the particular folder, okay? And again, I will update that BA file in the same system because we don't have the separate 4.0 servers. Okay? Oh, okay. So, so that's what I was quite say? curious to know. Yeah, I got you. Uh -huh. So since we don't have the QA server, that's why you just imp uh, yeah, exporting creating the BA file, creating the BA file, and removing the folders which in the single uh, same repository. And again, publish that BA file into the repository in the same system. Then you will get the, all the reports, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Fine. Okay. Okay, guys. And the tomorrow we can continue the session. Thank you. The organizer.